Justin Trudeau has lost his war against the Canadian truckers, uh, which means he's also lost his war against human rights, bodily autonomy, morality and decency. Uh, Liberty and freedom have already prevailed, even if Trudeau remains uh, ignorantly unaware of this stark reality. The trucks are parked in his front garden and there's nothing he can do about it. Uh, He's already tried to smear the truckers as as, uh, Nazis, uh, but this lie has already failed. He's instructed his police departments to confiscate fuel and wood in order to freeze the truckers out, but this repulsive and genuine act of war in a city with minus 40 degree temperatures has also failed. He's assaulted little old men, he's stolen money raised in good faith, he's attempted to get social service intervention uh, to remove truckers' children, and he's dishonestly described the peaceful protest uh, as an insurrection. All of these have failed. And what he and his disgusting Pravda journalists would like to do now is to call in the military. And on this, I agree with him, uh, but purely from a logistical perspective. The military could arrest the truckers, uh, requisition tow trucks, and have Ottawa trucker free within 48 hours. Stalin would have done this on day one. But Trudeau's problem uh, is that he is not a real, all-powerful dictator like Stalin, uh, much as he might wish he were. He's enjoyed his two years of emergency dictatorship, but he doesn't have the power to uh, shoot and arrest truckers and send their families to a Siberian gulag, uh, which means he's now completely powerless and defenceless, which also means, and this is... Uh, much more important because Trudeau is just a provincial puppet, uh, that the World Economic Forum, the United Nations, the EU Commission, the Chinese Communist Party, Bill Gates and an obscene assortment of globalists are also powerless and defenceless as well. Now, who could have uh, foreseen this just a a few weeks ago? Uh, The globalists then held all the power as they look down upon the COVID-terrorised middle class, the majority of whom had swallowed the fear porn propaganda hook, line and sinker. Uh, But then along came George Orwell's proletariat to retake their future from Big Brother. And there's nothing Charles Schwab and the Davos sect can do about it, uh, let alone their little tame poodle Trudeau, and even if they manage to clear Ottawa uh, and the various bridges linking trade between Canada and America, they simply cannot stop any number of armies of trucks from forming up again at any time and any place they wish to do so. So Trudeau has now met his Ceausescu moment, and he has effectively two choices. He can turn and flee, or he can crush the counter-revolutionaries with military might. Now, neither of these choices would keep Trudeau out of a a future Nuremberg II uh, dock, and the second, of course, I, I, I think, is an impossibility in the modern West, or at least it is for the time being. There is one other choice, though, and it's a very simple one. Trudeau simply has to stop trying to force people to bend to his illiberal will. Seriously, it's really as simple as that. And it's the only thing that Trudeau, because he has already lost, can realistically do. Seriously, it's as simple as that.